MoGraph AE allows you to create complex animations quickly. It works using two types of controllers. There are cloners, which duplicate and arrange layers in a specific formation, and there's effectors which allow you to animate these layers. There are also a number of helper functions, which will come in handy when managing large amounts of layers. If you want to watch a more in-depth explanation of each function, you can watch the in-depth tutorial which is on the scripts page on AE Scripts. However, if you're more hands-on, you can directly see a sample of each controller's functions by clicking Create Sample Composition. This will automatically create a composition that demonstrates some features of each controller that might be helpful if you want to use them. If you happen to like reading more than watching, you can click on the MoGraph AE layer or effects and then click the show help function. This will open the documentation of this feature in Notion. Also, if you mouse over the functions in the panel, you'll see in-depth tooltips explaining what each function does. All that aside, let's go back to a blank canvas and create a grid out of the selected layers. So the grid cloner arranges layers in this fashion. If we animate the rotation, and we enable delay, you'll notice that it has a delay in the rotation animation. All controllers in this script have built-in capabilities for both delay and also random influence. You will notice that this controller has a lot of parameters. If you want to know what these do more in depth, you can watch the in-depth guide or read the docs by using the show help function. The array in linear cloners works similarly to the grid. Now let me call your attention to the top toolbar in this panel. The folder icon, Organize, allows us to recolor and keep our layers organized in the timeline. The duplicate button duplicates controllers. The clear button removes all expression effects and saves a snapshot of the current frame. The bake function bakes the animation to keyframes. Finally, the select function is one of the most important helper functions in this panel. It actually has two functions. The first is that you can select all linked layers to the controller with one click. To do this, click the controller and click select. Automatically, we selected all layers linked to the cloner. Second, you can select the same exact property across multiple layers. Let's say I want to select the size, roundness, color, and position property across these layers that I have selected. Let's isolate them only in one layer. Let's make sure that we have all the other layers selected and then run the select script. Now we selected the same exact properties, size, roundness, color, and position, and all the layers we had selected. Now that we have these properties selected, what can we do with them? One thing we can do is create a field. This is a function that allows us to affect properties in the layer based on proximity. Another option we can do is create a step controller. When we do this, the properties that we have selected will increase based on the layer's index in the timeline. Another option is to create a noise controller. When we do this, the properties that we have selected will be influenced by a random noise pattern. These three functions allow us to affect any property that we want with an adjustable controller. Finally, we have target and inheritance, the last two buttons on the panel. Target repels layers from the controller and points them to it. Inheritance, on the other hand, allows us to morph layers between cloner controllers. Let's move to a new composition. We already have layers in a grid here. If we create an array controller and link them to inheritance, we can morph the layers in this grid to this array using inheritance. And that's MoGraph AE in a nutshell. I hope you find it useful. 
If you need more in-depth tutorials, again, you can check the longer tutorial, which is on the AE Scripts page. Or you can always open the Notion document, which will have an in-depth explanation of everything.